the case now that brought again up apostasy to the public arena was the, basically the controversy with political Islam. Where political, most Islamists like Ma'adudi and others basically claimed that according to the Sharia, the Islamic law, an apostate should be killed. Apostasy basically is uh, changing your religion. But uh, I deal with apostasy with it. I think that the root, the Greek root terms for apostasy, which is rebellion, puts it in the context of political theology. Political theology is an ambiguous term. It's first what is the, the idea is that there is always politics behind theology and there is also theological underpinnings to politics. And I think that apostasy is a very interesting notion in political theology because the main trouble with apostasy, the way the Abrahamic religions understand apostasy is in terms of treason, namely on extreme disloyalty to authority, less than an issue of disbelieving in certain beliefs or creeds. It's more undermining the political structure that organizes the religion. Now, most of the religions, I mean the historical religions, Judaism, uh, Christianity and Islam, start with a puzzle. And the puzzle is, how can anyone who saw the light was a, raised in a, re, a religion or was exposed to the religious truths, suddenly can deny the obvious? So for them, it called for an explanation. How come that anyone who saw the truth suddenly denies the truth? For them, it's not a multicultural market that you just pick and choose. And, uh, but basically, it's about truth. And the question was, how can anyone deny the, an obvious truth? It's like someone denies in that 2 plus 2 equals 4. If you don't argue in terms of arithmetic and trying to convince something that is wrong or she is wrong, you think you find you try to find other explanations that there is something wrong. Either there is insanity or extreme case of irrationality. Or if this is not the explanation, then there is some rebellion going on, trying to undermine the authority of of, of something. And that's already a paradox in all the three religions. Because the founders of the religions, be it Abraham or Jesus or Muhammad, each one of them turned against his parents and his family and his tribe by bringing the new religion. So each one of them was disloyal to the, to the traditional religion and turned against it in the name of the true God. What I'm afraid is just of the opposite of the trend that you describe of liberalizing the religions. What I feel might happen with apostasy is what happened with abortion. That this will be the the defining lines, and therefore the political Islamists will for the, force their interpretation of an apostasy, even on people who are willing to say, look, I mean, apostasy is not in the Quran, it's only in some of the schools, and it's not, a, it, a, a, someone should be punished in the next world, in the world to come, not in this world, only by God. Even by having a, a conference on apostasy, 
you create another. If they, if they talk about apostasy, it means that we should be, I mean, we should be firmly uh, in a position to oppose what, whatever they come up with. So I, I, I doubt it how, I mean, I doubt how it will go. But uh, my sense of it, that the dynamics will make apostasy a battleground rather than a meeting ground. That's, that's my feeling, but, but I hope I'm wrong. <laughs>